welcome back to the channel. This time you found us in the beautiful city of Barcelona. Barcelona. <laughs> You're calling it Barcelona yeah, yeah. for Chico, aren't you? Yeah. We've hit it just right. We're in April and apparently this, these are this, some of the best months to come. You get the weather and it's not as busy and it's a bit cheaper everywhere as well. Uh, why have we come to Barcelona? To look for a Chinese. I no, think. we haven't. You probably will find one here actually. We've come here because it's the second largest city in Spain and it's got 4.2 kilometres of sandy beaches, which we have got yet to see, haven't we? Weird, it's such a big city, you don't expect it to be on the coast, do you? No. But there's a lot of people live here, aren't there, how many? 1.6, say. 1.6 million people live here. And when you've got tourists coming in and out all the time, it's a busy, very busy place. It's gone busy here. We got the train down, didn't we, this morning from where we parked. We're 20 kilometres north. Yeah. Uh, just on the outskirts of our Barcelona, aren't we? Barcelona. And we got the train down at 60 euros return each. Yeah, because so. we've learned his lesson. Don't try and even don't even try to get into Barcelona with your motorhome. You will find nowhere to stay. Yeah. Uh, we'll show you later on where we are parked up because it's a cracking place, isn't, all right, it? isn't it? Yeah. And the train station's five minutes walk. And don't be worried about coming in, you don't speak Spanish because the, the main language here is Catalan and not a lot of people speak that. They do speak Spanish as well, but English is also accepted and spoken widely across the city. Uh, now it has over 60, 60 museums, but don't come on a Monday because most of them are shut. And it has loads and loads of UNESCO World Heritage sites, with one being right behind us. Where are we, Mark? I saw her on. See, aren't it's we? not an arsehole, that's absolutely gorgeous. It's not even finished, is it? It won't be finished for a long, long time. It started being built in eighteen in the eighteen eighties. It is called the Zagrada Familia. Well, the Basilica de Zagrada Familia. It's quite a mouthful, but it's a Catholic church. A massive building, church, isn't it? Yeah, and big... as you can see behind us, it's a crowd puller. Mm. Antonio Gard is it Gord Gordy? Gordy? Mm. He is a renowned artist in this city and he has put a lot of effort into it. We'll show you quite a few of his different places that he's had um, influences on. Do you not like it then? It's all right, it's just the church to me. They don't sell food, do they? As you can see, there's lots of tours coming in here today. You there's can lots of tours, isn't there? Yeah, you can actually go up in the towers. I think it's something like £26 plus more if you want to go in the towers. But we're not going to do that today. Uh, we've got too much to get round. Yeah. Now, we've walked up from the station. It's about 17 miles from the station to here, isn't it? 17 miles? Feels like it. No, it's about 20 minutes, guys. It's just a kilometre or more. It's just up here from the trip from El... What was it called? El Rock. El Clot. El Clot, yeah. Yeah. So that's the station far. here where we got off the train. It was, like I said, it was only a few euros return. And we walked up and it's like in blocks, isn't it, Barcelona? And yeah. It puts it in perspective when you're walking out. Big this place, isn't it? Well, if you've ever been to New York and you hit a block, blocks are quite big now here. They're in hectagonal, so you've got to go in the street, yeah, and across and come back out. Very strange, but and it does put a bit more walking on it, but it's a beautiful day. We don't care. The one thing we need to tell you about as well is don't try coming on the day and buying tickets. You must buy them online. And the advice they give you is do it a couple of weeks before you actually visit because to get here on the day and get tickets it's a rarity it's not very well known so if you do want to desperately see it make sure you plan ahead so the other thing you need to know about barcelona if you're coming here as well is be very careful we're always going on about scams everywhere we go there it's renowned for very good pickpockets here very good pickpockets yeah. so if you're going to have a bag have it in the front of you like i have here mark scott is there as well have zips on your pockets, have all your valuables in anything zipped. Not saying they come over and jump on you, but they're very good at doing what they do. There's other scams, aren't there? People selling stuff purporting to be what it's not. I've, I've just seen someone now with some, uh, it's, this is notorious as well, it's like the P-Men in Benidorm. Little dancing figures, cartoon figures. They're not dancing, they're on a string and people are buying them, aren't they? Yeah, yeah thinking they're dancing to music. We've just watched them all pack up and run off because the police have come in, so just just have your wits about you. So I've just seen this pass in this shop. It's made of chocolate. It's actually the Sagrada Familia. And it was done in 2018, this chocolate. There's Chico looking outside, he's not allowed in. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing, isn't it? 
Oh no, it's not melted, is it cold it? It's nice and cool in there. 2018 that will make. Can you imagine getting that for Easter Mark? <laughs> I bet it's not real chocolate. I bet it is. So we're just just going to the other side of the um, Zagrada Familia now. So if you can hear, they're still building it. This is all new round here. I don't know who's paying for it, my god it's going to be some church that when it's finished. It's big, isn't it? Yeah. And I think we've come to the fast food joint of um, Barcelona. I'm tempted to go and try five guys on that rabbit before. There's five guys, McDonald's, KFC, Taco Bell and Burger King all in a row. Unbelievable. <laughs> Well, we've done it again. We found a little cracker. We were heading for a hundred monster Tito's, but it's that way down, isn't it? So what, you saw this, didn't you? Well, did you smell it? Yeah, what, what street? It's just like a little sort of sushi, Chinese, Japanese, sort of noodle bar type thing. <laughs> Bit of everything. Like Chinese as well, don't Brown it? trying something I've always wanted to try, and that's a ramen. So I've gone for prawn ramen, which is like a soup, and you've gone for, uh, oh, you've gone for rice with vegetables and chicken, with a soy sauce, um, chicken, chicken, chicken curry samosas, and a cook. So let's see what this is like when it comes. 23 euro, and we're right next to the Zagada Familia as well. So that's not bad, is it? You won't starve in Barcelona. There is food everywhere, uh, isn't there? It's only a matter of time before we found somewhere. <laughs> you. So we'll show you the food when it comes. Goodness, that is just like it is on the menu picture. It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's good, that. There's Mark's. Chicken fried rice with vegetables. It is, it's just chicken fried rice, isn't it? And there's your curried samosas. You've got the cook up as well. Yeah, little chilli dip. Oh, let's try it, Vanna, how it is. Because it's got vegetables in, I'll be losing weight, won't I? Okay then. We've hit on the right place here, it's well good, isn't it? <laughs> This is really good. That's a massive bowl for, isn't it? That's it's good. like fancy super noodles. Posh super noodles, Mark. Really good, this, isn't it? The rice is spot on, isn't it? Mm. Mm. you got egg and prawns and all sorts, everything you wanted, isn't it? Broccoli. Come on. Try yours. Now, you know how fussy Mark well, is. It's got carrots in it, I'll be losing weight. Mm. Man, that's a big ball, isn't it, that? Are you happy with portion size, yeah, taste-wise? Yeah, it's good. So what's it called? Walk Street? Walk Street, yeah. Right opposite the Zagrada Familia. More or less opposite, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. If you're here, definitely come and get up some food. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, You have to wait good. a little while for it, but it's cooked fresh, isn't it? So. Yeah. All finished. All gone. Just what the doctors ordered that later, isn't it? I'm all hot now. <laughs> it was lovely. Chico behaved yourself, but he's yeah. had enough now. We've just had a Chinese Chico, you haven't had any. I want to get him out in a minute and get him biscuits and water for him before we move on. Recommend it, yeah. Feel better now for that. I feel <laughs> myself again. It's been a long time, hasn't it? It has been a long time for you, actually, longer than usual, I mean, anyway. I've practically wasted away to nothing recently. We're not having any Chinese. I've been Get your violins out, guys. Italian stuff and then Spanish stuff. Yeah, definitely recommend coming here. It's just opposite. We'll show you that, actually, in a second again from here. It's just a stone's throw from that for the eyesore over there. Right, isn't it? can we crack on now with the day? Yeah. Now you've had your stomach filled. Yeah, that's where it is. Look there, look. When you come and have a look there, come to Watch Street and get your walk on. What have you just said you've seen down there? A big onion. Like that one in London. It's not, it's a gherkin, not onion. Why would it be an onion well, shape like that? Well, the gherkin was in London, isn't it? It didn't Alan Sugar on it or something. Oh, I've no idea, but honest to God, you and you, what you come out with? 
never amazed me more. And then you're walking past all these little supermarkets and corner shops and you get a, like a car sale show. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, isn't it? by a can of cork and a car. So we're just heading down. Well, we'll say, I say we're heading down. It's 36 minutes walk. That's how big Barcelona is. And everything is really, really spread out. So get your trainers on if you come here. It's as spread out as New York, if not even oh, more, in it, I would say. Yeah, definitely. there's nothing very... There's nothing together. Yeah. Now, we're heading to a, a place called La Rambas. Now, it's it's very touristy. It's a tourist trap, if anything. I'm only going down because I want to see it. I know that it's going to be overinflated prices. It's going to be full of tat. But I just want to see it. Have a look. And it takes you down to the beach as well. What have you seen? A mural. It's a mini, isn't it? That actually looks like there's one parked in corner there, Mark. <laughs> uh, a bit big, though, isn't it? Yeah, so... I'll pick you back up when we get there. Yeah, hey, Mark, that'll get you eating your meat. Teddy bear burgers. Teddy bear burgers. Maybe I've never seen anything like that before, have it's you? Like, uh, bungle, aren't they? Bungle. What's that off Rainbow? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Comments below if you like watching Rainbow when you were a child. It's a busy road here, isn't it? All one way. Watch. It reminds me of Italy. This is really busy. Look at them all coming through. There must be about five lanes of traffic here. It's like Italy. <laughs> isn't it all of a sudden? Well, it's Chico's turn to get a bargain today, not me and Mark. What have we just got in? We've just been in this bazaar, haven't we? This Chip Merca China shop. <laughs> um, and a lot of them have the same stuff, but because we've come to a, a new city, there's loads of different things, isn't there? So you might remember, if you've been watching our European videos, uh, something like this little jumper here, what we've bought for Chico, something like in Austria would have been about 40 euros, wouldn't Even it? more than that, about 60. Yeah. Four euros fifty for a little jumper for when he gets cold. Call it four pound. Yeah. Well, look at that one. What's like a uh, what do you call it? Burberry. Yeah. And <laughs> but look at this. Star by. Look at this. Who can remember back in Italy? Yeah, Italy, wasn't and it? And we, yeah. we needed a sling for him, and we spent what thirty nine euros was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of your hard earned treat uh, treats for Chico. Chico treat money. We've got like one what's aerated now so you can so, see through it. Because you're all worrying about that one being a bit too fluffy for summer. This is uh, this is going to be a summer sling. Yeah. Guess how much guys? You can see it right. Right. It, absolutely for nothing. You it's, can't even get them that cheap on Amazon Mark. It's got a little safety clip on it and yeah. it, a pull string and it zips up. And we've tried him in it and he's just settled it's right just into it, hasn't it? It just goes over you. It fits you perfectly doesn't it? So. So yeah, that again is with all the treats for Chico money that you've sent us. For nothing, innit? When you get to Spain for these small dog uh, clothes and things, they're for nothing, aren't they, really? They're a nice coat in there with pockets and stuff, but it was, it was a bit, just too, a bit big. too big. So. Yeah, so if you do come to Spain, please look in the Chinese shops, because if you've got a small dog, a lot of you do send me messages, where do I get all Chico's yeah. clothes from? I wait till I come abroad, well, because we, we to, get loads, we? Yeah, we have absolute to, loads. So we've got another Udi in this bag, in this bag what we got in Yeah, night, we haven't we? tried that on yet. So here we are in Barcelona still. <laughs> still, we've just walked about, what, 36 minutes and we've got nowhere really. We've headed for the place called La Rambla, the notorious tourist trap area. Yeah. So as you can see, it has got mega busy. Well busy here, isn't it? We, the bit that we've just been in, we're lovely, lovely and quiet. Now it's just gone craziness. And it's bad for people pickpocketing. It, yeah, so, so I've just said to Mark, fetch your little bag to the front. That's what they advise. If you've got rucksacks, wear them to the front zip all your pockets up and another thing I forgot to tell you about if you're stood here like we are now and someone comes over to you and they've got the face whitened like a meme they call them mams or memes and they'll say they take the picture for you or they want to be on your picture do not entertain them as soon as you have taken a picture of them they've got you they will follow you they will hound you for money make your life hell they can turn really really nasty so don't entertain them well I've got a way to stop pickpockets I'm going to line my pockets with Chico poo Ooh. Look behind me, no wonder the finished Blue Peter. Look what that woman's doing, that naked woman. She's got a Blue Peter ship on. If you've got a fear of pigeons, Chico hasn't, he's chasing them like mad. Don't come through this square because everyone's feeding them and they flock all over you. Guess what I've they? just seen, Lisa? What? Primarkery. <gasps> Primark! It looks like Arids, doesn't it? That? It does look like Arids. Right, come on. 
Wow, we found somewhere called St. Joseph Meerkat, so it's market. And if you can see behind us, it's Ramboard, isn't it? It's like a special day, and it's only a normal day, isn't it? But look, look who else is here. And he's, he's happy now, isn't he? Yeah, he is now. He was getting a bit um, flustered, weren't he? And we have one standing right next to him, so we're just going to have a quick squeeze in here. If it's too busy, we're coming straight back out. I've seen these before. These are spiral crisps. Smart, aren't they? Look yeah. all this food here. <laughs> I think we've walked into your food heaven, but you're also your people hell, isn't it? Well, too many people. <laughs> They've all got these drinks here. Mmm, tortilla. Mmm, pasties. Pasties. And, and is it empaladas or something sort of they call them here? <laughs> But you don't want any of that, do you? No. Oh, a little bit of space. <laughs> God. God, it's ramrod in here. Mark's, again, Mark's just said, I think they're giving away stuff for free. They must be because it's that busy. Uh, mad, isn't it? Crazy. I'll just show you some of the stalls that are on here. It's amazing. On one stall, and I got charged three fifth for the stall right opposite. Oh. Four euro. Okay. Quite a lot of choice in there, you? Yeah, there's a new one in there. What's that? Dragon fruit. Mark fruit, then, isn't it? Oh, I found Mark's kind of stall. Look at them eggs and strawberries. Oh my God, look at that! You've got to get one. I mean, compared to my end, the massive. Get one. Look at this coconuts ready to go. It's strawing. Never seen that before. Four euro, what a bargain! Some That's work really good. That, isn't Someone knocking up bits off. And... Yeah, there's a stall here selling coconuts as they come. Mm. Wow. And I've just got myself some. I've just got myself some sweets on them. Look at all them in there, massive ones. But how much was the price, Mark? Eleven forty. Nearly, nearly dropped from floor when she said. That's just spending I, money for a week, isn't I it? Skills are broke. <laughs> Oh dear, someone's getting towed away because they've been parked illegally. Well, we think that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, well, no insurance or something, so... Someone's having a bad day. There it goes. Well, it goes to the police compound, wherever that might be. That's an expensive uh, shopping trip, isn't it? What has she got? The lady Primark bags. <laughs> yeah, she had Primark bags. So she's not saved any money today, has she? No. God, it's absolute spitting image of him. It's good, it's good, isn't it? Isn't it good, that it's forest than gum? Blackpool, isn't it? Yeah, 23 euros going to the waxworks here. I think that's quite good, actually. So all the that standard. Are you sure it's not someone that looks like him? No, they're all having the pitch tuck with him, aren't they? they look at Angel look real, don't they? My God. What is it? Life is like a box of chocolates. Oh my god, you look like twins. <laughs> so we've made it, not quite to the beach. The beach is another 4k. Up that way, yeah. Yes. Behind us, yeah. We've absolutely had enough. We're absolutely shattered, aren't we? It's such a big place, Barcelona. Yeah. If you think you can come here and do it today, think again. Not a chance. No chance. Uh, we're down at the Rambler de Mar now, which is a, a floating platform that's been built over the sea. It's like a, a shopping centre and everything, isn't there's it? There's all sorts of ports, there's big massive boats, there's ferries, there's ships in here as well, isn't there? All sorts going on, lovely area, nice place, relaxing place yeah. to go for a walk with uh, Chico. And just behind you, over the way, there's a, a ferry called Grimaldi Lines, and it's one that goes to Italy. So we're here, we'll be heading back off later on. We saw that the other day when we were up the coast, Lisa. Well, we're thinking about doing it ourselves, weren't we? Yeah. But yeah. It, it was about a week before it was due, weren't it? Yeah. There's some cable cars going over the water. I'm tempted. It looks really good, Mark. Yeah, but you will scare yourself still. I will. I'll get up there and start praying like usual. But it looks really, really good. What a good idea. 
Yeah, it's, this is all man-made. So if you're in Barcelona, don't think it's all just shops and... I don't know, more shops. There is a lovely front, come down and have a look at it. So Chico's biscuits are going in the sea because he doesn't want them and these fish do. Let's have a look, one. biggest Chico. Oh, look. Yeah, they're hungry, aren't they? Look at Chico watching his biscuits go. Poor Chico losing all his biscuits. Yeah. Give a look fish though, Chico's biscuits. We'll have to get going home soon now because he's got nothing to eat. Now when you come to Barcelona you'll find there's loads of different districts. Now the one that I was really interested in is the Gothic district because it includes small alleyways of shops and bars and restaurants and this is a part of it. Mm. Now we've only just come through this because we're going back to the train station but we need to investigate this more. Now we do want to come back tomorrow. Um, Fingers crossed, it's not going to rain. It has forecast rain, has For the next it? two days here, yeah, so... And we want to do the up-and-top bus uh, excursion, mm. the hop-on, hop-off. Yeah. Uh, it's quite good value, actually. 28 euros, I think it is, each. Mm. Up, on and off, you could do both routes, so that's that's two Get hours around. each route, well, isn't it? There's no point if it's raining, is it? It's no, so time. fingers crossed, we can show you a bit more mm. tomorrow. Mm. But for now, we are going to head back to the train and put our feet up. I might have to soak my mark because I think the frogging. <laughs> I might not be able to get my trainers off. We? Yeah, we've walked loads today. Yeah, we have walked loads, haven't we? We've been past the sex museum, a sex shop down there, haven't we? Right. Real fancy stuff. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Good morning, everybody. We are so rested. We needed to get back last night. We were shattered, weren't we? We watched a documentary last night when we got back on yeah. Barcelona on uh, Netflix, and I couldn't keep my eyes on them, could I? No, but we actually put on, you know, trying to find out a bit more Barcelona, and we were quite surprised and shocked we'd not remembered about this mm. this event that happened. Was it 2017? 2017, yeah, terrorism. And attacks. it was exactly where we were. All the places we went, the market, down that big walking centre, everywhere we Las went. Ramblas. Really. <laughs> it was someone took a van down there and knocked them all down. Mm. 12, peop 12 to 13 people died, didn't they? Yeah, we're not going to dwell on it, but it's no. recovered plenty of people there, as you've seen. So, yeah, we I can remember it now, but I didn't know it was Barcelona. But I, must admit, I had mixed emotions, because as I've told you before, I was involved in the Manchester Arena bombing, and mm. I don't like things like that. I don't think I would... Yeah, probably a good job I didn't see it, because I don't think I would have gone into Barcelona, to tell you the truth. But no. we went, and I will go back again. I will not let this defeat me. So, it is now Tuesday. And we are heading to um, a media mart, don't we? We need a memory card, don't we? Have we have an arrest today, and then we're, to be fair, it's only supposed to be 48 hour in this park, but everyone's staying, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. So, so we're going to have another day. We've got, we want to go back down tomorrow and do the open top bus. It was supposed yeah. to be raining today, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's why we to... planned to work from the van today, because yeah. it was supposed to be pouring down. Look at it, it's gorgeous. Mm. It's the other way in uh, England, isn't it? So we're going to get a bit of sun and they get rain. Yeah, so we're going to pay another three euros and stop tonight, and then that's it. It's perfect here, isn't it? I'd stop yeah. a bit, you know, for three euros a night, it's, it's not bad at all but it's so. really really good and I, I just, I've just fallen in love with Barcelona yeah. what a city I know it's good isn't it and guess what's back again brand new on the scene look at these here look Bobby not Bobby. impressed look Crocs you know what happens at Crocs go on everyone don't you get ready for it <laughs> what happens Mark well anyone who's watched this last year's videos in Europe will know won't they mm. so. oh and just also what's back as well is me, me red sore on my leg oh yeah Rusty Red's back on his leg oh, a bit there as well so we're stopping at a pharmacy because we think it's... I think I know what it is. It, it comes when I'm on my feet for a long time, to be fair. When we're all day and walking, you stay. But also, shorts are on, empty toilet. You get things like bacteria on your legs and I think it's cellulitis. So. I think that's what it is, yeah. Please don't all be messaging us saying get him to the hospital. He has had it before. I've yeah. Googled it a tiny bit and it does say something about having sun on your legs as well. Mm. So. Well, no, but we're all in town. There's in nothing city. you can do about it if you're prone to it, innit? Uh, so we're going to see. They might give me some antibiotics or something maybe and we'll, we'll give it a go so there we are let's let's crack on and uh, let's go and have a look around so just before we do set off mark's just gone to check on chico with something and um, this is literally the car park that we're on about it's on search for sites full services elson fresh water gray water uh, and black water drops bins galore over there five minutes to the train station for barcelona and the train stop is about five stops away into barcelona city center absolutely spot on get some more of these everywhere around the country and you'll have lots more visitors as i said before we looked at barcelona for somewhere to stop i would not recommend it the reviews are all broken in vans things stolen from your van 
no so if you come out here like i said it's only five stops away on the metro and it is six euros return absolutely perfect so yeah couldn't wish and it's so quiet at night this is the size of the pitch we've got as well we felt lucky with this because when we arrived there were two pitches left and the others on are half as big as this one have you sorted him out yeah what have you done not the camera over I forgot to put it in when we have a window open. Oh, so I got right. a nice shot. I'll just put them in there now because we're going to do an update on these blink cameras. That we not, get a lot of questions about the blink cameras, don't we? They're watching basically. They're not fit for purpose, to be no, honest. No, so. we wouldn't recommend you get them, to tell you the not truth. Not to put outside, but I'll just stick them in the window for now. The one on the back's fine. I put one in the front as well, but the silver screen's on now. But when they're subject to outside, they get watering when you're driving along. And we've so. got a nice big light. I call them overlanders, mate. It's, it's massive, isn't it? Look right, at the size of that. It's got a full-sized... Uh, aircon unit air underneath, con isn't like it? A, like a, a, a residential type aircon unit. So that's fair play. With nice young water. chap in there. Yeah, so, like I say, it's spot on here, isn't it, Mark? Absolutely right, spot on. I know, you can't go wrong. So we've had to come back to the chemist because when we came earlier on, it was closed. We've been over to a Mercatina, bought a few things and come back. Mark's in there now trying to Google Translate his rusty leg to find out what's going on. Um, I'll tell you what they say when he comes out. So what's the verdict with rusty then? Rusty? I've called it rusty leg. <laughs> oh yeah, but the other one's doing the same a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, well, not as there bad. as well. Not, not as bad. Basically, they asked me last time I had the Chinese and it's quite a while now. So Stop that's a, it. What do they say? They don't think it's cellulitis. They think it's an allergy, so I don't know. But, well, could, but I have had it before, haven't I, last you have year? The doctor said, said what it was, but we can't remember what it was. I can't remember. I'm I might, sure he said cellulitis. Mm, I might just send a picture to our doctor and get him to have a look at it, I suppose. I think I did it last year. I'll have to find out what they said. But it cleared up last time, didn't it? Yeah. After a couple of days. It looks more of a mess, mate. Right? So... But anyway, they said they can't really give us anything without a, a treatment yeah. plan from a, ah, a doctor. Right. So, watch his space. So I think Mark jinxed us before. He said it was going to rain today, and it hasn't done. It's been gorgeous now. Honestly, it's turned well cold, hasn't it? It's gone really, really cold, and it said it's going to rain now, tonight, and instead. Over the hill, you can see over the mountain thing, it's coming over now. So we're in a rush to get back to the van, because guess who's left all the skylights open? You. No, not me.